sorry. Alright, so here we have the desert cotton tail. It's native to arid climates. Its lifespan lasts just under two years. Um, it mainly eats on plants and flowers. It does occasionally eat berries. It becomes full grown at around three months. Its predators are the you know your typical snake or whatever, and they're pretty much uh, defenseless against them in terms of protecting their young. So most of them pretty much you know die before they get to maturity, but as you can see right here, he's munching on the grass. I'm looking at him. You see, I see something scared him. They're very uh, sensitive and they have a very acute um, sense of awareness. So if they sense any type of danger, as you just seen right there, they will uh, more than easily get up and run away but he's returned for some more nourishment you watch me eat yeah I'm watching you eat they get their water from the the liquidness um, within the plants and when it gets very hot their body goes through this type of chemical um, change called thermal regulation which regulates the temperature in their body so they don't overheat because as you know they live in deserts and water is very few in between They also got some speed on them too. They can reach speeds of up to 30 kilometers an hour, which is the equivalent of 19 miles per hour. They are also considered a game species by, you know, the United States Wildlife Agencies. And they also are very active sexually, so they're able to reproduce um, fairly quickly as well. See right now it's eating on some more grass, it just turned, look at me. There's some good old grass. Love this grass. Also good for weeds too. Look at how he munching. You see how he just jumped right there because the car passed by. That's the heightened senses that I was talking about. Munching away. We 
when you live in areas like this, you see all types of wildlife, you know, lizards, snakes, rabbits, squirrels, different types of birds. I remember one time I saw a, um, a hawk, a big old hawk. See right there, you see the lizard running across the uh, the wood beam. That's what I was feeling right there. It's, you see it? It's small, but it's running across that beam, that wood beam. That's all I was talking about. You see that all day, every day. Different size lizards too, small ones, large ones. thing I don't like though is like the field mouse so you gotta be careful with those uh -oh. the camera kind of shaky because my arm was getting tired so I was trying to adjust my arm to a better uh, position to film But yeah, usually the rabbit it comes out every day and you know, child's on the grass and whatnot for some time, depending on I guess how hungry it is and whether or not something scares it. Because usually when it gets scared, it'll run and hide under a car or something. Oh, you just gonna turn your back on me? You don't want to see me watching you eat? He just gonna turn his back on me. Like, you ain't gonna watch me eat. I'ma eat in peace. Uh, looks like he's on the move again. He's picking up a pine cone. Yeah, something scaring it. That tree that it was by, well, where it was eating grass, that used to be a pomegranate tree, but the people that redid the landscaping basically killed it but yeah I think it's done either it's done and it's full or something scared it so it's about to leave but yeah they live in um burrows made underneath like the, the plants um, in open fields that's where they live those the squirrels they live in those things as well but by them being so accessible it makes it easy for predators like coyotes and snakes to get them coyotes too I be hearing them howling and stuff they live in burrows too burrows hollowed out trees things like that Yeah, also eat your vegetation if you have a garden too. Especially the squirrels, those things is annoying. Squirrels, and there's like these, uh, yeah, the squirrels. They yeah, bury, they yeah, uh, I dig a hole in your backyard, set up shot in your backyard, so you gotta watch out for that too.
Yeah, that is the desert cottontail. The desert cottontail rabbit. I think they can uh, get up to about like three pounds or so. It all depends on their diet. But yeah, this video is pretty much coming to a close. So if you guys have any uh, comments, feel free to comment below. That would be appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you want more videos like that, I'll do my best to try to get them out to you guys. Yeah, so this next clip right here, you're gonna see the rabbit like run away. Right now, he's still eating the vegetation, but he's gonna run uh, on the other side of the, of the car. So right now I'm trying to get up and uh, get a glimpse of it. You see it? Now I was about to try. Now I was gonna try to run to the other side. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. As I said before, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more videos like this, comment below. Thank you all for watching. And bye-bye.